Flow. This is a video update on how things are growing in the latest aquaponic system. It's uh, March 2nd, 2014. It's uh, pretty frozen outside still, and uh, I figured I'd get some of the stuff done. These are uh, Chinese artichokes that are grown in here. This is Siberian kale, grown underneath a high pressure sodium light. And then, this is Coast Comfrey. It's a type of com comfrey. And it's found in Russia, I guess, is what where I had uh, gotten from. And um, it's growing pretty, pretty quickly. So. And then the next bed. Got more starts of the uh, Chinese artichokes coming up. They all seem to be doing really well. Chinese artichokes here. Basil back there with another Chinese artichoke there. Basil in the back. And we've got some kale that's growing up here that's taking a slow start. It's also a Siberian kale. And uh, some more Chinese artichoke starts as well. Basil and more Chinese artichokes. It's a pretty hot commodity there. This is red Russian kale. It started a while back. It's doing really well underneath this uh, LED halo lamp. There's also some uh, Chinese artichokes in here as well growing. I started some of these from the Chinese artichokes and then what I did was I've been cloning them ever since because um, I only had a limited supply and the clones have worked really well. They're taking off. They seem to be doing really great in aquaponics. Um, they're naturally found on riverbeds is where uh, the reading that I've done they require an incredible amount of water to grow and if you like during droughts sometimes that's what kills them so this is a awesome system where they essentially get water three times an hour for about you know, a few minutes each time so they get quite a bit of uh, water supply to them They move further along. More basil. Basil is just an easy thing to grow. A great way to uh, draw nitrogen out of the, the water. Here's some uh, true Siberian kale as well that I started and it's uh, doing really well. Phenomenal. This is a patch of the Chinese artichokes as well. And I took some uh, onions, some bunching onions, and I used the onion and took the bottom root and stuck it in there and it grew. <laughs> so it's been doing, doing pretty well. I harvested some basil earlier today. There's still quite a bit of it in this bed. And there's, uh, I don't know if you can see it very well, but down here there's black kale, also known as dinosaur kale or lacinato kale. Um, this type of kale seems to be the most popular amongst people, even though it this kale, the true Siberian kale, is just as nutritious as the other, but for some reason it's it's a lot harder to grow in an in area that it's warm. And I try to keep it close to 80 degrees in here, and kale does not, does not appreciate that temperature. So, And there's just some more basil and kale over there. And I had to change out a pump. I got a different pump. This is a... Uh, stronger pump. I think it's a one horsepower pump. There, the one I was using was a three fifth fourth, fourth, ah, three fifths fourth horsepower pump, and it kept failing on me. And this one, knock on wood, uh, is doing all right. <laughs> I seem to have problems with that pump failing, so. but I've got backup systems in place. So, so far, everything's grown well. I got fish growing pretty well also. You may or may not be able to see them down in this tank swimming around. There's quite a few in there. And quite a few in here. They're all coming up because I think I'm going to feed them. So. Here are some new ones that are going to be moving out over the tanks here pretty soon. They're a few inches long. 
There's a few hundred in there, I would say. I'll have quite the tilapia harvest here soon enough. And some more babies just hatched this past weekend. You may or may, may not, yeah, you should be able to see them in there. They look like little tiny rice grains. It's all fry in there. So, other than that, that is pretty much it. All the other fish in the breeding tanks up top are doing well. And uh, I've got more fish on the other side and other tanks. And there's about three tanks that are populated over there. So slowly but surely I'll be pulling a lot of uh, fish out of the system. So thanks for tuning in and I'll try to get this uploaded as soon as possible. Thanks.